Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is John. Uh, usually what we do in this channel is all about uh, promotions, discounts, and savings. However, on and off, I will do like a videos uh, on like opening a box, uh, review of an item, or sometimes maintenance of my car. Uh, however, in this video, I will, be, I will be sharing my experience, uh, how to get uh, my swan, uh, security system back up and running so a little bit of the background um, I I removed my uh, Swan security the DVR and I put it away for about a month and yesterday I tried to uh, put it back together and what happened is uh, the system keep on resetting uh, so it boot up it logs in and I was able to see everything However, after about a minute, it, it, it rebooted itself. So after it did some Google research, um, I have another system, a Swan system as well. I try to replace the hard drive because that's what it says on the uh, actually Swan's uh, support website to see if replace the hard drive, put another hard drive in. It, it did the same thing. It booted up and then I can see the the camera and everything, but then after about 60 seconds, it reboot itself. So that's not the case. And then I originally had it plug into um, uh, a search prote uh, pr protector, and I unplug it. I put it back into. I plugged it in directly to the wall. Same thing. The issue didn't go away. And uh, what else did I did? Um, and I reset the whole system. And still, nothing happened. So today, uh, actually yesterday, I, ca I emailed uh, Swan Tech Support, um, and I didn't get a, a response back. So today, I called them, and I was on the phone with uh, this gentleman, really nice, for about uh, a good hour. And after explaining to him like what I did, uh, we skipped all that part. And what he told me was to uh, unplug everything from the... Uh, from the uh, from from the DVR, from the mo uh, the monitor, uh, the, the Ethernet cable, everything at all, and he walked me through how to reset the whole system. And once I reset the whole system, he he had me set up like uh, uh, my account my account or my user with the password. And from there, when when I logged back in, it asked me it prompted me to do uh, an update. And once I did it, the uh, finish with the updates, I plugged everything back in. Well, originally, what happened is one of the the cables, uh, the BNC cable. Uh, when I plugged that in, it automatically uh, first he had me re uh, unplug all the cameras, just only plug in the DVR. And when I did that, it didn't restart, it didn't reboot. So, so then he asked me to just just randomly pick one of the uh, the cameras and plug it in and back and right when I did that the the DVR rebooted so he asked me to place that BNC cable the, the, the camera and just label that as defective for now put aside and after we did all the upgrades and I started he, he asked me to put back the other seven cameras and after I did that everything was just working fine I didn't see any re resetting and he, and he goes, okay, now try with the last one. And I put the defective one, so-called, and still, after I input it, I, I plug it in, it's working normally fine, too. And so as of right now, I don't know if you can see in the back, but the blue light on the Swan DVR, it's flashing, and everything is working fine. He asked me, he, he gave me a uh, ticket number and asked me to monitor for the next three days, and if there's any issue, to give him a call back. So, I don't know what the problem is, but the system was working fine prior to me removing it, and after one month, plug it back in and had issues. But after we, after all that steps that, that we did, oh yeah, he also had me checked on the uh, all the power adapter uh, to make sure that it's uh, output 12 volts and 2 amps. Uh, so, on, on the back of your power uh, supply, it might say... 2,000 milliamp it basically just two amps so 
after I, I told them everything, verified everything, and the system is not working. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that it's going to help out some of you guys uh, because it took me quite a while and I was really frustrated. But in the end, it is up and running. Uh, once again, thank you so much for the support. Other than that, guys, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.